Calimera. It's time to make a trip to the east coast of Crete. So I officially have 10 days left before I go back home. I'm starting to realize that that's contributing to my ongoing laziness and disconnection with any kind of social media. But realistically and honestly, I'm pretty tired. Five and a half months to six months of travel can be really exhausting. Knowing that I have 10 days left of travel, I kind of have to plan everything much more strictly before my flight back home. With a slap in the face and a wake up and stop being lazy, this trip is not over. It's time to make the best of it. Oh yeah, I even made a friend to tag along. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Airbnb times. Very nice place. Got everything I need. $71 for three nights. A nice terrace. I like this town because it's very quiet. Very relaxing. Cheers to the good life. Caliorex. simple day, because every traveler deserves one. So now you know if I... Airbnb comes with a fruit bowl. Beautiful beach day.
water is so clear, I just want to jump in. This is Chrissy Island, one of the lowest points of Europe, having one of the most beautiful beaches in Europe. So, remember that souvenir I was creating for myself? Well, it is finished. Because I didn't get to go to the White Beach on Santorini, I decided that I would fill my bottle with Crete sand. You have sand from the Black Beach here, Red Beach here, and Crete sand. It is finalized. Maybe I'll throw in some extra sand to finalize it and tighten it up. You know, many people told me if I'm going to come to Crete, I can't just come for a couple days. Go for at least a week and a half to two weeks. I came for 11 days and I can truly say that it's been an amazing time here in Crete. I'm not exactly out of money, but as far as my original Europe budget goes, it's at zero. I originally had plans to go to Puerto Rico sometime this summer with my grandparents for about two to two and a half weeks. Unfortunately, they backed out, leaving me to disregard a trip to Puerto Rico this year. But fortunately, that's given me more of a budget for Greece. I've got a week left before I go back home, and I'm going to make every second count. I am, without a doubt, extremely tired from this whole trip, but I'm still young, and I still have some dreams to fulfill. Let this journey continue. I'm back in Araclio for the third and final time, and I can't resist buying the biggest euro I've ever had in my life for the last time. This right here is my bed for the night because I have an eight hour overnight ferry to Athens. I'm not gonna lie, this is probably the most dreadful part of my trip. But at least I can say for the first time in my life I've fallen asleep on the deck of a ferry. It's been an absolutely amazing time here in Crete. But as I always say, when one journey ends, another one begins. The only thing that's different about this journey is that's the final leg of my European trip. But my final destination here in Europe is actually my number one dream ever. So here we go. Cheers and good night. Hey guys, as always, I want to thank you for watching. If you truly enjoyed this video and you love travel, 
hit the subscribe button below and join me on this amazing journey around the world.